Why are we checking the transmission line pressure? If it's too low, the friction units can slip and can be damaged. You'll notice a slipping problem. If it's too high, you'll have harsh shifts. Most likely the EPC solenoid has failed. Before performing the line pressure test, number one, inspect the transmission fluid level. It should be at the specified range. Number two, inspect the leakage to the transmission. Basically, if you can start it in park or neutral, but not in the other selections, then the leakage is not misaligned. For these tests, we'll use a bidirectional scan tool and the Maddox engine and transmission oil pressure test kit. You just need the hose and the 400 PSI pressure gauge. These vans use the 4L60E transmission. The line pressure test port is located on the driver's side, just above the neutral safety switch. Remove the plug with an 11 millimeter socket and a three inch extension. Then simply thread in the gauge's hose. No special adapter is needed. I lightly snug it up. We'll begin with a quick test. The vehicle is idling in park and the engine is at operating temperature. Being a mobile mechanic, I usually work outside and today the glare was vicious, but it's okay. The scanner is only used to monitor engine RPMs for the quick test. We are getting about 55 PSI line pressure on park. The specification is between 55 PSI to 189 PSI on drive, park, or neutral. Here I shifted to neutral, same reading. Shifted to drive, same reading. Now I shifted back to park and increased the RPMs to 1500. We only jumped up to 65 PSI. Shifted to reverse. The specification for reverse is between 64 and 324 PSI. We are seeing about 77 PSI. And that's the quick test. It's just a general overview of line pressure. The specification does not state that RPMs need to be at 1500, so I assumed idle. The 4L60E uses a pressure control solenoid, PCS. To see if it's regulating line pressure correctly, you can test it with a bidirectional scan tool. The PCS operates with an amperage input between 0 and 1.1 amps. Max line pressure is at 0 amps and lowest line pressure at 1.1 amps. The design here is if the PCS loses power, it will default to max line pressure. This will result in hard shifts, but the transmission will still shift. Note, the pressures in this chart assume 1500 RPM and an engine temperature of 150 degrees F. This pressure chart is accurate for all 4L60E, Astro, and Safari vans. Access the transmission control module, Functional test. The test should be called PC solenoid amp. I have a helper that is going to try and hold near 1500 RPMs and we will increase amps by 0.1 and compare to the chart. At 0.1 amps, about 1500 RPM, we see about 160 PSI. Looking back at the chart, we are under specification. At 0.2 amps, about 157 PSI. Again, a little under specification. 0.3 amps, about 150 PSI. 0.4 amps, about 145 PSI. This one is within spec, but because my helper has increased the RPMs. 0.5 amps, about 135 PSI. Again, within spec, but only because the RPMs are higher than what they should be. Fast forward to 1 amp, we read about 60 PSI at about 1800 RPMs. It is within specification, but again, only because the RPMs are higher. Service information states you should perform this test sequence three times total. My diagnosis, line pressure is a bit lower than specification. My first suspect is low transmission fluid, but we ruled that out before even starting the test. Other causes of low line pressure could be a clogged filter, pump issues, and pressure loss in the valve body to name the easier ones. 
The TCM will try to make up for low pressure by commanding a higher pressure than normal for the shifts. And mainline pressure does reach up to the 160s at least. So I would say this transmission is okay for cruising around town and freeway travel. Limit towing or climbing up steep hills. And that's it. I hope you learned something. Have a good day.